Hello again, everybody. My name is Travis. Welcome to another beer review. Before this beer review, I want to let everybody know that I have a Google Plus account, and I post all my videos on there, and I also post other beer-related things on there, and I also participate in beer hangouts, which are video chats pretty much about beer. So if you haven't added my Google Plus, I'll go ahead and put it on the uh, on screen here. Go ahead and add me on Google Plus to your beers. It's the same thing. Um, look me up and I'll post all my videos on there. I'll keep you updated. If I can't post a video, I'll let you know. If, I'm, if I have something big coming up, I'll let you know. So I'll, it's a better way to keep updated on what I'm doing with my channel. Google Plus, um, check it out. And tonight, guys, we're looking at a yearly release from Sierra Nevada. It is Bigfoot, their barley wine. This is the 2012 version. Just came out very recently, within a month ago, I would say. And uh, so this is a very fresh batch. I've had the 2011, I've had the 2010. I haven't reviewed them on a the video, but uh, I've, I've had them before. Um, big things from this beer. This beer is a super reasonable barley wine. And a very interesting thing about this beer, um, I'll tell you guys about later. But let's get into the Sierra Nevada Bigfoot. Spelling this thing, it's just hugely, it's, it's very hoppy. You can tell this is an American style barley wine. Yeah, definitely some pine resiny hops in this. It's uh, definitely floral and pine. Uh, I'm getting some of the malt in there, which you would expect from a barley wine. And I'm pretty sure this is 9.6% ABV. Yes, 9.6% ABV. And I'm sure the IBUs are pretty darn high too because this is, smells very highly hopped. And yeah, some of that sweet malt you can taste or smell in the background in this beer. It's, uh, it's, it smells pretty good. Here we go. Cheers, guys. Let's see what we got. Wow. There's a lot going on in that. Up front, it hits you with those hops. Um, you taste the pineness, then the middle of the mouth. You're getting a sweet caramel, big malt taste. And at the very end, it's very bitter. So it's almost three layers of taste as you're drinking this beer. Yeah, definitely a, a good taste. Yeah, like I said, it's, it's that you do get a lot of those pine hops. You get a lot of the malt. It's balanced well. It's a hoppy barley wine, definitely very hoppy. And then it comes at, at the end, you get the bitterness. Um, and you get the malt at the end, so it's it's kind of it's I think it's pretty well balanced between the both. This it's bitter, but the malt is there as well. I think it's leaving a lot of bitter bitterness on your tongue, which might make this not so drinkable. But it's definitely a very good tasting. And let me give you one quick note before I head to my final thoughts on my rating. This went up in price this year. I saw it for fourteen ninety nine a six pack at my local beer store. And I asked the guy, he said, yeah, well, you know, I got the first case and the second case went up in price. And I was thinking, $14.99, well, you know, that's, that's $2 above what, I, what last year's was. So I didn't buy any. I went to Kroger. I'm shopping around. I said, I'll look at the beer. And they get Sierra Nevada there. So I'm at my local grocery store, which is Kroger. And I look at the price and it's $8.99. And I take it up and it scans $8.99. So I picked up a six pack of this for $8.99. I just checked a month later, or maybe not a month later, a couple weeks later from when I bought this, and it's still $8.99, so I will probably pick some more of this up. Definitely a steal for $8.99. If you can pick it up for that price, I would. But guys, let me sip on this, maybe let it warm up a bit, and see what my final thoughts and my rating are on the Bigfoot Barley Wine from Sierra Nevada. Back here with my final thoughts and my rating on Sierra Nevada Bigfoot their 2012 version. This is an American barley wine, a very highly hopped beer, one very uh, very well known, I would say, uh, a big release. <clears throat> when it comes out, it's uh, there's a ton of it made, so it's not hard to get. Um, but definitely pick it up if you can. For me, this is almost a great example of an American style IPA, but better. <laughs> you know, it's. It's got this huge amount of hops and hop bitterness that I love about it. Also with some sweet malt. As it warmed up and as I drank it more, the malt came out um, more than the hops. You got a lot of the sweet caramel malts in it. Um, definitely a good taste though. This one, this one for me, I'm teetering on an 8 and a 9. I think I'm going to go with a, 
I think I'm going to go with a 9 on this one. It's just really good. I love the hops they use. I love the balance between the hops and the malt. It just tastes really good. And um, I could drink these, you know, I could drink plenty of these, I guess you would say. 9.6% ABV, that's pushing it. But um, the taste is just good, and I, I'm, I love to have these. And I think a, a big factor is in you can cellar barley wines, so you can cellar this beer and see how it changes year to year. So I have two, I have three 2011 sitting in my fridge right now. I'm probably gonna keep some of these 2012s and try to get my hand on some 2010s and do a, a vertical tasting of these beers. Uh, one thing I would like to mention is if you're new into beer and you see this at the grocery or you see this at the store, I would be hesitant to buy it. If you can get a single of it, maybe pick it up, but it's definitely not a beer for new beer drinkers. You gotta kinda work your way into this one. But once you are at that at the point where you can enjoy this, it is a great beer. So it gets a nine out of ten on uh, the new scale for cheer to beers, and it's a very, very solid, very good barley wine. Pick it up if you can. If you've had it, let me know. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Check out my Google Plus, and until next time, cheers.